Ryan Little. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Lonilin Arbin Lain and for today's video, tayo'y magbabalik aral sa buhay ng ating pambansang bayani. Ating siyasatin at ating alamin ang kanyang naging buhay noon sa likod ng titulong ating pambansang bayani. Samahan niyo po akong maglakbay sa panahon ng ating pambansang bayani na si Dr. Jose P. Rizal. Tara na at sana mag-enjoy po kayo. So this is the life of Rizal, ating balikan. Siangko and Zunyi of Fujian, China were among Jose Rizal's earliest known ancestors. In the late 1600s, their son Lamco moved to the Philippines. He married Ines de la Rosa, a Chinese mestiza native of the Parian. In the astrology, Rizal's zodiac sign is Gemini. It means twins that portrays dual characteristics. As early as the age of three, he knew how to recite the alphabet. And in the Chinese zodiac, he belongs to the ox character and that's his animal symbol based on his birth date. On August 9, 1886, Masai Rizal experienced poverty since his father Prashano could not give him allowance. He moved to Germany because in that time, Germany was one of the most powerful states in Europe. Dr. Maximo Viola took good care of him and lent him money for the printing of Noli Mitangere. In 1887, Rizzo established activities such as fencing, gymnastics, and shooting for individuals to prevent going to cat fights. In 1888, he became the president of association La Solidaridad, a crusade that is based in Barcelona and he was fascinated by the culture of England and studied English language and its traditions. Jose Rizal stayed in Paris from March 1889 to January 1890 and during that time, he did all his literary, artistry and patriotic activities and even, even published books. Governor General William Whaler naman ordered the troops to demolish all the families in Calamba including the family of Rizal. So they were exiled in Palo. But Rizal assured his family that he will seek for help in the case before deportation. In 1891, Jose Rizal published his second novel, El Filibusterismo, in France. He was able to complete a conchology collection that included 346 shells representing 200 species. After the publication of his novel, he went to Hong Kong where he met his family. On June 21, 1892, he left Hong Kong again for Manila. And in exile, Rizal remained positive and constructive in the face of hopelessness and persecution. With his remaining funds, he was able to construct his home, school, and hospital, as well as cultivate cocoa, coffee, sugarcane, coconuts, and fruit trees. His death was an eye-opener that we can only break the chain of Spain is through revolution. So in the retraction of Rizal, there were many speculations about it. It was said that he changes his religion into Catholic because he wanted to marry Joseph and Bracken and end their unsanctioned marriage. His burial kept secret and no sign of the cross in the Paco Cemetery where he was buried. So, Jose P. Rizal is indeed our great hero, our great hero. His contribution to the Philippines cannot be replaced. And I'm just very disappointed by some of the Filipinos before because they were one of the reasons why he died. So, betrayal and jealousy are both a dangerous words. So, it can transform a person into someone they are not. I can somehow see myself in Rizal wherein he found a work for him to survive. He sustained himself and not just rely on his brother. About the novel Noli Mi Tangere, Rizal hold grudges to the friars. He want revenge in a subtle way. To me, I think hatred and revenge are the emotions that I somehow experience. It cannot be prevented because there are people out there who can invalidate a person. They will just open their mouth and exploiting nonsense. When I heard something about that, 
I felt sad and at the same time, I'm furious because they don't have the right to judge me. Because I never judge them and I never treat them badly. I still have grudges but as I go on with my life, I somehow let it go because it's heavy carrying that negative feeling. I admire Rizal because those hatred become his motivation to reach the top. And similar to him, I turned my hatred and grudges into my motivation to achieve my goals. I'm not everyone's cup of tea and that is really okay. Fighting independence for our nation isn't easy. Just like Rizal, his will to fight independence towards the vindictiveness of the Spaniards lit the eagerness of the Filipino to break the chain that the Spaniards brought to us. His willingness to sacrifice himself just to achieve the safety, justice, and peace toward his fellow Filipinos made him a great hero. Although he traveled the world, he still don't forget the Philippines. As I've observed, many Filipinos went to abroad and then they are back in their country, they somewhat forget the essence of a true Filipino. I think that even though we are in a foreign country, we must not forget our own cultures and traditions because this shape us of who we are today. Life is full of ups and downs, just like Jose Rizal. I can relate to him because of his perseverance and resiliency despite all of the struggles he went through, he still managed to make a living and support his family and even help the students. He was able to live a life with decency and gentleness with the odds in front of him ready to bring him down. With all the challenges I have been and may come through, I am ready to conquer them all. I need to be resilient in order for me to bounce back whenever I am hurt and I feel like giving up. I need to persevere in order for me to shape my future. I have so much plans in my life that I need to accomplish. There are a lot of people who are rooting for me, but my family are the ones who are rooting for me harder. I need to repay them for all the efforts, hard works, blood and sweats they made for me to come this far. I also need to prove something and contribute to my country, Philippines, by finishing my education and in becoming as one of the hopes of our nation.